Hey everyone, it's Jess, your host for Mondays on the Beaver Bunch, and my mouth is actually on fire right now. Inferno. Hot. Hot. Is that hot? Anyways, uh, we just ate leftover Thai from the other night, and I don't know, if you, if you guys have ever been out to order to get Thai food to eat it, it's amazing, but usually when you're ordering your entree, they ask on a scale of 1 to 10 how hot do you want it, and usually I get it at about a 3, maybe a 4. Um, not that I don't like hot food, but spicy Thai is totally different than spicy Mexican or whatever. So Mary always goes a little bit higher than me, and she got a 7. And for leftovers, we just sort of threw everything together and then put it on top of rice. And uh, I kind of forgot that hers was hotter, so my mouth is on fire. Ow. This week's topic, we are talking about losing friends when you come out. Bummer. Um, the actual topic, it says, um, uh, da, 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 da. it's relevant to my life now as I'm not sure exactly where my best friend and I stand at the moment. We're both 21. I'm a gay guy. He's straight. Obviously, we're not talking about me. Uh, and we've been friends for six years. It seems as though we've been drifting further and further apart. Um, so the guy who wrote in, gay, his best friend, is not so gay. Um... You know, it's it's such a bummer when these things happen or, you know, when all of a sudden you start to realize, oh, uh, maybe he or she isn't quite okay with the fact that I'm gay. And it's, you know, like I said, it's just, it's a harsh realization and I hate to be, I hate to be the cynic of the group, but it's true, you know, and, and it's true that you lose friends when you come out. Um, you know, heck, some people lose family members for a while who just do not support, um, who, you know, they don't support you. So I think that it's important to recognize that these things happen, um, but don't blame yourself. Don't blame yourself. It, it really, it has to do with that person and, and how they are dealing with their own life um, if they're insecure with the fact that you're gay, that doesn't have anything to do with you, I promise. That is something that they are going to have to eventually deal with at some point in their life. Um, and perhaps you simply planted the seed for them to grow up just a little. Um, my own personal experience, because obviously that's the only way that I can, uh, you know, um, advise. I guess there really is no advisement with this topic. It's just sort of sharing sharing is caring. Um, when I first came out, I was 15. You guys, you guys probably know most of this. I was 15. I was in high school and uh, I came out as bi first and everybody sort of thought it was all right. It's sort of cool, whatever. And then I decided, you know what? I'm not bi. I really am not. I'm not into boys. So uh, I came out as gay, now queer. Screw the labels. But I did come out as only liking women during high school, and I did lose a lot of friends, you know? I lost some people that um, I thought were friends, but in hindsight, I realized that they weren't really the people that I should have been spending my time with. And in in coming out and sort of shedding the skin of, of those former friends, I, you know, I, I was able to... I was able to really analyze myself, figure out the types uh, of people that I wanted to surround myself with, and guess what? I ended up finding some really amazing, awesome people uh, to support me, and, and I you know, could also support them in their endeavors, whether they gay or straight. Um, and those people I still am in contact with, and I'm you know, not so much. Um, any of those other people, even, you know, years later. But I will add this small piece of information that some of those people who walked away when I first came out um, did come back and, and they did apologize. And even years down the line, uh, you know, they're adding me on Facebook or whatever. So I don't know, you know, there's, there's really, there's no, again, there's no 
rule book. There's no right or wrong way to um, handle the situation. Just know that it does it does happen, and maybe this is your opportunity to to grow within yourself and learn, you know, what types of people you want to be surrounded by and what what type of friends that you really need in your life. Um, I'm sorry that you're going through this, but you have uh, a whole community behind you and, and we support you. And can I just say one other thing that I love the fact that this is a gay guy, a gay man writing in. We love our gays and our trans and our everybody. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm so excited to see that, that there, there is such a diverse community out there watching the Beaver Bunch. I'm proud and happy. Um, also, I wanted to, I'm gonna put it somewhere here and then also in the description. If you guys get an opportunity, don't forget to go on districtlines.com. I hope I'm saying this correctly. Uh, vote for the Beaver Bunch. It's super easy to, to log in. All you have to do is use your YouTube account. I did it. They just want to make sure that you're not voting a million times. You can only vote one time. We are currently in the top 25, so, uh, vote for us. I think it's like a thousand dollar prize and we could always use that. Of course, we would put it back into the Beaver Bunch. So, um, vote for us, check the description and I'll try to put something right right there for you. Thanks for listening. I, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday. Um, I will see you guys next Monday. Bye guys. Hey guys, if you get an extra few minutes, don't forget to go to sdgln.com to check out Mary's brand new story. It's called The Preppy Gay Yuletide Gift Guide. I love that girl. Bye guys.